Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. Thanks for joining me. And today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Electrum Bitcoin wallet to version 3, the latest version. So let's get going. So I've been running along happily doing some videos on uh, some of the features of Electrum Bitcoin wallet and uh, hadn't realized that there's a new version out. It's been out for over a week now. And I had downloaded and verified the installer on my computer a few weeks back and had just been sort of running with that version because it has, uh, I had verified it. So anyway, uh, let's go and I'll show you what to do when you upgrade this uh, Bitcoin wallet. Yeah, it's, I'm going to do an in-place upgrade. It's fairly straightforward. There's just a few things you need to uh, keep in mind. Uh, so let's go to our browser. I'm going to use Firefox again. All right. And uh, actually, I'm going to point out here very quickly uh, my file structure. I have a software folder where I use uh, that folder. I download a lot of the software that I'm doing here. And I tend to keep everything organized on my computer. So as you can see up here at the top, uh, we have a four terabyte data drive and a software folder. And I already have a folder called Electrum. And as you can see, uh, there's some uh, text files and the installer for version 2.9.3 and uh, the signing files. I'd like to point out here that uh, I have a bunch of seeds here as text files. And that is not best practices. I do that because most of these wallets are just for demonstration pur purposes. Uh, if I'm moving Bitcoins in and out of these wallets, I usually move them out to my more uh, secure wallets before I do my videos. Um, so uh, if someone were to gain access to my computer, uh, the seed files would just be in the, the clear. Uh, anyone could just open them up and see what the seeds are to my wallets, and that's not secure. Um, the best practice would be, uh, after you have these seed files on your computer, you would want to print them out. And I think that I've done not here, but here. Uh, you see what I've done. I've done it in bold. Uh, I've... Um, shown uh documented what it is when it was created and the seed and then that would be printed out and then saved and then you could safely delete this uh, file from your computer so i just wanted to clear that up i noticed that uh you know a lot of my users are concerned about security and of course so am i that's why i do these videos but these uh, loose seeds that i have laying around in this folder are not best practices they're convenient uh, but not best practice if you want to stay secure. So having said that, uh, this is the folder where I have the old installer and the old file, and that's where I'm going to download uh, the new one. All right, so let's go over here. I'm going to buy the screen this up to 150 so everyone can see. Uh, let's go over here to the Electrum Bitcoin Wallet website, and we'll go to Downloads, and I'm going to do the Windows Installer. Okay, and as you can see, this is the latest version, uh, 3.0.1. We click Save File. And if we weren't here, let's say we would just go over to our Quick Link software. And then we'll navigate to our folder, Electrum. And I'm just going to drop this installer in where the old one was. And then the signature file here. Uh, as I've shown you before, is a bunch of ciphertext. This is a PGP signature. Uh, the easiest way to get this file in uh, a nice format is to just right-click here and click Save Link As. And as you'll see, it just drops it right in uh, next to the other installer. Uh, this file here is the other uh, signing file. And we'll click Save. Okay. And then now when we go over here to our software folder in Electrum, you'll see we have uh, both installers right next to each other. We need to verify this 3.1 installer. So I'm going to uh, shift click and choose open PowerShell. 
I'm going to do a quick DIR so I have access to these files. And once again, if you uh, type gpg and dash dash version, and you do not get this uh, output uh, showing you the current version of GPG running on your computer, it means you don't have it installed. And I would refer you to one of my previous videos where I show you how to install all of this verification software. So having said that, we're going to take the Electrum 3.01 exe.asc file. We're going to highlight it. I'm going to hold down Control and then hit C, Control Copy. And then I'm going to uh, do the command here. I'm going to clear this out. The command is gpg, whoops, gpg dash dash verify. We're going to hit space and then uh, control V for paste. <clears throat> We're going to hit the space bar again and do another paste. And then we'll uh, back up a little bit and take that ASC off. Uh, the reason I do that, uh, it's easier than typing it out, but the uh, layout of this command is uh, gpg. The switch, <coughs> pardon me, the switch is verify, and then the two parameters are the signing file, which comes first, that has the ASC extension, and then the name of the installer file, which is the one that we're verifying. And then we're going to hit enter and it turns away and it gives us this good signature uh, from Thomas uh, Votklin, who is the lead developer for the uh, Electrum Bitcoin wallet. And then the warning here is just telling us that we uh, don't know for sure that the signature belongs to him uh, because we haven't verified it in person and through a, through a circle of trust. Uh, but that is... Um, you know, we don't have to worry about that too much. We've actually done the cryptographic verification of the installer file. So uh, we're in pretty good shape here. Okay, now that we've verified the installer file, it's safe to run the installer. I'm currently running version 2.3. So I'm just going to run the install like a normal installation. It's going to go through all of this. And uh, I did not uninstall version 2.9.3. Uh, I just left it in place. Okay, and then we'll get this stuff out of the way. And we'll go ahead and uh, run Electrum. And it comes up here. Okay, and uh, so it just opens the last wallet I had open in version 2.9, and then I'm going to put in my password. All right, so this is the tricky part, not too tricky, but it's just letting me know that that wallet file, which contains uh, my Bitcoin address and all of the other uh, which point to all my transactions and my balances and everything is in uh, the previous versions format and it just needs to be upgraded and that the change is not backward compatible. So once we upgrade the wallet, uh, we will not be able to open this same wallet with a, an earlier version. But in this case, I like to look forward. I'm not going to worry too much about that. So now that the wallet is upgraded, you can see we're up here ver uh, using version 3.01. And then uh, we can even do a, uh, um, pardon me, I'm going to do an open on a uh, previous wallet. See, we've got some other wallets in here too. I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, CryptoDad wallet and put in the password. All right, and it's going to give me the same uh, warning that I'm upgrading the format of the wallet file. And it upgrades successfully. Now, uh, the interesting thing here, <clears throat> pardon me, and I think I just uh, exposed this uh, seed uh, at the beginning, and there's a tiny amount of Bitcoin in here. I think it's uh, maybe around 5 to $10.00. So uh, now that this is the seed has been exposed in the early part of the video, 
uh, I would challenge anyone to come uh, sweep out uh, the Bitcoins in this wallet. Um, I just want to let everyone know how important the, the, the seed is and how exposing it online or to anyone else uh, allows someone, anyone from a different part of the world to install this wallet, restore from seed, and get access to the Bitcoins that are in this wallet. All right. And... Uh, so that's the long and short of it to get your wallet upgraded. Now, I also have some other wallets in here that I previously upgraded uh, before I ran this video. And you'll notice that it doesn't say anything about that one because I had previously upgraded that one to version 3 before I uh, uninstalled and reinstalled for your benefit. So uh, that's a quick explanation of how you run an upgrade on your Bitcoin wallet. You know, you saw there that all of my Bitcoins and my balances were fine and we're now using the latest version. And I believe that uh, some of the uh, features of the new version are uh, SegWit uh, compatibility. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you like it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to get new videos whenever I post them. Thanks again.